Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. So in this video we're going to talk about a new feature in 2021 R2 which visually allows you to see your schedule board for manufacturing orders. So right now we're taking a look at a sales order. It's a Curag model 450, quantity 10. It is linked to a manufacturing production order. And if we open that up, we could see the production order and there's quantity 10. There's a new field added called schedule status. So when a production order is created, it's automatically unscheduled as a starting point. So if you go into your rough cut planning, you can see all your production orders and the items that need to be created. And there's also a new column here called schedule status. So any items that are scheduled will show up on this new visual board. So if we take a look at our production schedule board, at the top of the screen you have filters. So filtering what items are going to be created in what warehouses, what different types of order types, production order types. You could filter by production number and order status. So production order status, whether it's in planned or released, all the different statuses that are there. You have the ability to see scheduled or firmed. You can filter by product work group or manager. You can also filter by different order types, sales order types that is, and customers. And in the upper right hand corner, you have a date range to look at your schedule board. Lastly, the different orders show up on the system based on a different color coding. So your differential on these different color codes could be based on production order status. We looked at that before. You can have different colors for that. Or you could, for example, look at different work centers and you could see the different work centers accordingly. But if we switch back to production order status, over here, we can see the production orders that are on our schedule board. And again, if we move this date range out, let's say we move back to June or maybe May, you can see orders that are back in July. And because there's a number of them on our schedule board, you can see each of the numbers. There's links here to open them up. If we scroll over to the right, we can see the one that we were looking at. Scroll down as well. And anytime a production order has a sales order link, that's displayed as a form of diamond. So this diamond is green because the requested date on the sales order, meaning the customer's requested date, is further into the future than the production order will be completed. If we go back to that sales order, and let's say we move it back to the 9th, and we save it and we'll just refresh here you now can see a yellow so yellow means that the requested date is the same as the production finish date if we go back and we change this date more into the past and refresh and we move this date back so we can see it in our filter range. You can now see that the diamond is red. This indicates we're not going to make our requested date for the customer. And it's giving us a warning. Notice this is date sensitive. So the diamond shows as to the sales order requested date. Whereas the start and finish here are the production order start finish. So if our production order took five days, you'd see that as a bar across five days. Also notice as we highlight here below, you can see all the different work centers that are required and you can see them highlighted. So for example, we're looking for WC100 and WC10 to finish this Curag. And those work centers will be engaged on these dates. If you have a production order, that is missing materials, meaning you don't have the materials to create it, you'll see a lightning bolt across here. And a white circle indicates that we're using a vendor to perform some sort of operation to complete this production order. 
Over here, you can change the time scale. So currently we're looking in days, but we can switch that to months. If we want to, which only makes sense if we change our date filter here at the top. Notice Acumatica will only show the month ranges that make sense. If there's no data, it's not going to go back too far. Additionally, you can go into full screen mode and see the scheduler in full screen. Or you can click here and only see your production orders, dropping that bottom panel if you need more room for your production orders. And the bottom also indicates machines and tools that may be needed in the schedule. So you can see that here. So for example, this particular production order, we're using some sort of solder equipment, B mold, and something else in the system. So that's it. That's the new production schedule board here in Acumatica 2021 R2. If you have any questions about this or any other feature in Acumatica, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel and subscribing and have a great day.